Oh, we're dead. We are dead. Oh, okay. Mm. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here on Beam NG with the Mazda R9 wheelbase. We're we'll going to be taking it out, drifting in the streets. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all found in the description box below. Let's get to it. So like I said, we do have the Amaz R9 wheelbase all set up, and we got our pedals, our handbrake, and everything all working. So we're just going to go full send and do a little uh, drifting here on Viva NG in a little street section, see what we can do. Handbrake in. Oh, and off the rip. We are in drift mode with basic force feedback settings from BMNG. That was actually pretty good. Didn't do too much drifting here in BMNG before. Oh, I feel like we're going to be doing a lot more here. So if you guys have good mods and stuff like that, let me know down in the comments where I can get them. Oh, it crippled our bumper. Oh, we're dead. No, no. Oh, I think we're okay. So this is definitely quite different than I'm used to in, say, a set of Corsa, but it's actually a lot of fun. I'll tap that. Oh, I mean, <laughs> we went G is definitely so much fun with the damage and stuff like that. Oh, the car does not feel right now. But overall, not too bad for first drifting in it. So like I said, I do want to get some mods and stuff going. Oh, we're dead. We are dead. Oh, okay. Mm. Huh. Mm. Hit that red button right there. Reset my vehicle. Flippy Boys is why we crashed. We didn't have the Flippy Boys up. So like I said, if you guys know mods, let me know down in the comments where I can get them or what good ones there are. Gonna be looking around for some good drift cars and tracks and stuff like that. I mean, but crippling the bumper over that curve is kind of cool. I definitely love, of course, the damage physics here at Beam. Oh, we got it, we got it, we're good. Nope, we're not good. Oh, we bent that wheel. I need to be able to, I need to turn my glancing on so we can look around. Because I think that wheel is definitely bent. Oh yeah, it's definitely bent in. Got a little, uh, little camber now going on on that left rear wheel. Nope. Even out the camber. Nope. We got this. We got it. Oh, we got, oh, that's curb, curb tap. Nope. We don't got it. <laughs> we almost, oh, I, did I kill the car? Oh, man. All right, what did I have? There it is. I had to find my start button. I'm actually having a lot of fun with this right now, over the curb. The wheel does feel actually really fun on this car. And of course, oh, poor angle. And I could fine tune the feedback if I really want to. Oh, this wheel's not straight now. This car has definitely got some issues. We're just drift bashing this. Steering wheel's not straight. Gearbox is totally messed up. Press the clutch. I did! Oh. That's a tree. <clears throat> and we got the bumper inside of our car. Alright, so let's, uh, let's try and change to a track that I might know. Better. Oh, we can just spawn around. I, f I did not know that. Hmm. We're going to change up tracks. No, no, back, no. We are going to go to... See what kind of tracks we got. 
I mean, I guess we could just go to East Coast and we can go to... Mm. No, that's not what I want. Nope. No, we don't want to do Derby area. I hate how the car keeps rolling on my screen when I'm trying to change tracks here. We're just going to go hit up the drift course because we're here to drift. So hopefully we can drift around here. So if you guys want to keep seeing more Beam NG here on the channel, let me know down in the comment section down below. Like I said, I'm going to be trying to get some mods and stuff like that to enhance this Beam NG content because well it's so much fun to drift in this game with like the damage and stuff like that and you know with now that i have my handbrake and everything working correctly in the game you know drifting's gonna be so much easier so i don't think this car actually works for drifting we have a 180 nope it's got broken tires oh that's right so what kind of cars do we actually have here do the Corolla. Do the drift version of the Corolla. All right, we're gonna do the drift version of the Corolla. If it actually loads in, I don't remember if my game had issues loading this car in last time. I think that's probably why I don't use it. Oh no, we're in. Got the drift curl out. Let's see what we can do. Thought we were gonna hit that wall. It's like I knew what I was doing going through that section. Did not know what I was doing there. Now we're back out of the drift park. We can get back in there. Definitely very different than what I am used to with a set of course up, but I think we can do this. Oh, lost it. Oh, don't die. Overall, not doing too bad. I Oh. <laughs> oh, as I say that. <laughs> I say we're not doing too bad. We go head first into that wall. Ooh. Trying to just find my way around this track. I'm surprised we didn't die. We did kind of tag our bumper a little bit, it looks like. A left foot braking. Okay, we got this now. Oh. <clears throat> Finally, uh. Not getting the smoothest lines right now, but. Oh, I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> we need to definitely, uh. Get some tracks in here that I would know where to go. But overall, not too shabby. For first impressions on the Mazda R9, it does feel pretty good, and I too like it. Feels a lot better actually than my close sport did. Oh, we didn't die. So it feels a lot better than my club sport did. I feel like I'm able to have a little bit more control of these cars. I don't think I was ever able actually to drive this car ever. But also separating my pedals. Gives me the ability to have my handbrake going again. High clutch temperatures. Apparently this 
this car does not have good clutch for clutch kicks. So, if you guys want to keep seeing Beep and G here on the channel, let me know down below. And if you got some good mods, let me know down below as well. Ow. Where I can find them. Definitely bent that wheel. I'm going to do some research and see what I can find. So, make sure you follow me on social media. All that you find in the description box below. As always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.